Hello and welcome to the Ace Destroyer. On July 1st, 1916, the first Lancashire Fusiliers went over the top at Sunken Lane. Here's a minute-by-minute -minute overview of what happened during that fatal morning. At 3 o'clock in the morning, the first Lancashire Fusiliers start to take position in Sunken Lane also known as Sunken Road. At 7 o'clock the battalion HQ moved to Sunken Lane, but they might have been spotted as German artillery landed near the lane. At 7.20 in the morning the Hawthorne Ridge Mine exploded, shaking the ground underneath the Lancashire Fusiliers' feet. The first two assault companies being B and D got ready for the assault. Because the mine exploded 10 minutes before zero hour, the Germans were probably aware of the fact that the British forces were going to attack. The German 121st Regiment prepared to repel the attack. Seven thirty, zero hour. The whistles blew, B and D and the bombing party went over the top. The first two waves had a brief moment that nothing happened. They made a few yards until the German machine guns, located at the Schwerpunkt Bergwerk, opened up. The third and fourth wave were wiped out as soon as they left Sunken Lane. Only a few wounded, including both company commanders, managed to crawl back. Company A, which was the part of the initial assault, was also badly hit by German MGs as they tried to cross the field leading up to Sunken Lane. C Company was also fired upon when they left their trenches to get to Sunken Lane. Captain Dawson and an NCO were hit in the body armour. Around 60 men of C Company reached Sunken Lane, as a part of C Company was held back due to the wounded in the communication trench. A and C Company saw a hor horrifying scene. Nearly 100 wounded comrades in Sunken Lane. They knew they were next. At a quarter past eight, the attack got underway again as it took some time to reorganize. The CO ordered the Stokes mortars to fire upon the German positions. Around 75 men now attacked along the road, trying to enter Beaumont Amel in the north, where it is the highest. At around 10 yards from Sunken Lane, they met the same fate as BND Company. Heavy machine gun fire ripped the 75 men apart. Only 10 men, including 2nd Lieutenant Caseby, reached the German wire. At 8.30, a platoon of Germans was spotted near the Hawthorne crater. The British opened fire but had to cease fire as German artillery rained down. At a quarter to ten, it was getting clear that the situation was hopeless. Wounded were piling up in Sunken Lane, which was only poorly defended. At a quarter to twelve, reinforcements in the form of Major Utterson and 25 others were moving up. They tried to attract as much MG fire as 700 British men, probably from the second Royal Fusiliers, were spotted at the Hawthorne Ridge positions. If only Major Utterson had known that the 700 men wouldn't move up, he might not have attacked as only him and four others arrived at the British front line. At this stage in time, there was nothing left but to hold Sunken Lane. During the rest of the day, wounded were being carried away via the tunnel. About 25 men stayed in Sunken Lane to defend it. Wounded and dead were collected from the fields. The attack was a total disaster. The Germans still held the town, and nearly all German machine gun positions were intact. The attack had cost the first Lancashire Fusiliers dearly. Seven officers were killed, 14 officers were wounded, and 500 others were casualties. Another source states 165 killed, 312 wounded, and 11 missing. Very grim numbers indeed. This was the Destroyer. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. 
Cheers.